Right, guys. Uh, very good evening once again. I hope you guys are doing very well, and uh, thank you for joining. I'm uh, just confirming once again. Uh, am I audible to all of you? Uh, am I visible to all of you? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> so, question for you guys: What is the topic we are going to discuss today? Yeah, all of you have joined webinar. Okay, what what is the topic for today? All right. Uh, okay, one answer says ninja interview. Preparation for interview. Preparation for ninja interview. Okay. Any other answers? Technology preparation steps. Okay. Uh, great. Okay. So let me introduce myself. Yes, uh, you know what you mentioned is correct. Uh, technology preparation steps for ninja interview. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so introducing myself, um, I'm not sure if you have attended uh, any of the prior sessions which I have conducted. I'm Vishal Bharat, and uh, yeah, I'm the technology head for our TCS Explore and Experience program, which is our freshers training in TCS. Uh, your freshers training actually starts the moment you are given TCS offer, either for Ninja or digital, right? And uh, this session is part of our Launchpad initiative, uh, which, you know, in which we have been engaging with you guys, uh, I think since more than three, four months now. Okay. Your NQT was conducted last year and uh, <clears throat> pretty soon your interviews will be scheduled. And as the message was very clear, based on your NQT performance, uh, shortlisted candidates will be considered for digital interview and another shortlisted uh, candidates will be con uh, considered for Ninja interview. So today's session will focus on the technology preparation steps for Ninja interview. Okay, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to conduct very similar session for preparation steps referring digital uh, interview right so that is that uh, that session will be conducted at same time uh, that is coming up tomorrow so let's not uh, spend more time now i'll share my screen and we will get going all right great <clears throat> So what exactly is Ninja role? See, when you are appearing for some interview or you are shortlisted for a particular uh, category of interview, you should have fair idea of what exactly is that role. Why TCS is talking about Ninja? Why TCS is talking about digital? Correct. So let us have fair understanding of this Ninja role. And uh, <clears throat> in the meantime, if you have any questions, please put in the chat window okay i think there was some message related to some of the candidates facing audio issue let me just reply to them audio is working fine please try to connect again we will also share recording for this session all right, great. Coming back to our slide. So what exactly is Ninja? See, if you look at the word Ninja coming from Jap Japanese martial arts background. Okay. So Ninja is a person who is multi-skilled. See, in martial arts, you have Kung Fu is there, Karate is there, Judo is there, Kickboxing is there. Okay. But Ninja is something which in which they will have expertise in all of these skills okay and they can they can fight with any of the basic weapons right so that's why we consider we consider multi skilled okay now multi skilled how do you correlate with it industry see ninja does not refer one particular skill that is the basic understanding here and guys, don't get scared by 
you know the larger definition i am sharing with you don't consider that or oh, is it like so many things are expected in tcs interview no no that's not like that i am only discussing about ninja role correct what is expected and how you should prepare is still is yet to come up so just understand the role so multi skilled see coming to it industry lot of technologies advanced technologies you know we keep on listening about uh, blockchain metaverse augmented reality virtual reality right and then uh, all, all things about big data analytics visualization okay advanced uh, programming you know and then all these uh, technologies like java python dot net and so on okay but see yes those are the technologies in which projects are executed but when it comes to the ground level the team which is executing this projects what exactly is expected from that team in terms of expertise what kind of multi skilling is expected okay. so it's like see every project will have some programming or coding component every project will have some database component every project will have some user interface okay every project will have some uh regular activities like assurance testing deployment bug fixing and so on now when we refer as a ninja candidate so ninja candidate should have bit of exposure in all these areas once again i'm repeating we are not talking about interview expectations we are only talking about ninja role okay so expertise in programming bit of expertise in user interface bit of expertise in database some knowledge of how bug fixing happens some knowledge of how software testing works knowledge of frameworks like agile scrum right so skill set in all these areas that is referred as multi skilled then comes flexible see without being flexible we cannot work in it projects for sure flexibility in terms of adapting to a particular technology flexibility in terms of going that you know one step ahead solving the problem that is required flexibility in terms of time okay see don't join it industry if you know your mindset is like okay i'm only going to work from 9 to 5 and that's all i'm done see our working hours are also defined right it's not that uh, every day we have to stretch for 12 14 hours most of the days it's normal correct but what i'm trying to focus here is don't look at your watch and then decide whether i'm going to work or i'm not going to work correct for work that passion should come from within see always our passion makes us flexible right focused focus on the problem focus on the task what needs to be done to solve the problem do that okay forget about everything else say you are working as a developer your task is to write the code do that you are working as a database uh, person your task is to design the database and write some queries for some report to be generated do that you are a big data engineer say today you are given let's say uh, 120 gigabytes of data you need to process with that engine come up with some reports do that okay focus on that task what needs to be solved and result oriented quality always thinking in terms of right quality outcome in whatever we are doing okay. this is definition of ninja and everywhere i have given you guys example from it industry all right so if you join tcs with ninja cadre we expect we expect these attributes in you guys 
Meanwhile, there is a question. NQT was conducted last month. When the results will be announced? Very soon it will be announced. Okay, very soon it will be announced. So yes, please attend today's session. Please do attend tomorrow's session as well. Don't make assumptions, guys. Don't make assumptions like uh, you may not get into digital cater. Okay. See, tomorrow's session is on digital interview preparation steps. In TCS, even if you join as Ninja, listen carefully, guys. Even if you join as, uh, means if, even if you are given Ninja offer, there is a possibility that sometime, let's say next year in January or February, all candidates who are offered Ninja Cadre may be given one chance to appear for digital interviews and digital test. That has happened since last in last three years. So it can happen. Okay. Even after joining TCS also, there are channels which you can leverage and from Ninja you can upgrade to digital. And that is the reason I'm requesting all of you, all of you to please attend tomorrow's session as well. Okay. And uh, yeah, I can see the attendance right now. So far it is 300 plus. Please ask all your friends who missed today's session to come and attend tomorrow. Right. Okay. Come back. Let's come back to our slide now. So now coming to the technology stack, which you should focus. Uh, yes, advanced technology, if you have any exposure, definitely it, it is going to help you. But main focus has to be core programming, SQL, user interface, and what is CRUD? Any idea what is CRUD? Create, read, update, delete operations. Okay. See how how a particular application works. I'm going to share with you guys in a very plain vanilla language. Now, what I'm going to share applies to a simple standalone Windows application or a very complex website or any of the high uh, configuration app you have installed in your phone or even very, very high configuration, those, uh, uh, you know, games, uh, online games you play with your friends. Okay. Every application, every application in the base works on this CRUD functionality. Create, read, update, delete. Okay. In your online game, you know, you, you fire your friend, your friend's character, your friend's character is destroyed. That is on user interface. What happens in the background? There is some programming logic. There is some programming logic which will go and update the database, which has information about your friend's animated character, update some flag from active to destroyed. That is update operation. That is update operation. You create new profile. You create new avatar in that online game. It will add one more record in the database so the programming which you know you have uh, the, the back backend programming will execute that query SQL query in the database and it will insert that information which is create operation, correct? Now uh, again, let's say in that same online game, uh, you know, let's say you are uh, you, you are using let's say one type of gun and you want to change that. Let's say you know in your profile. Uh, you have some better weapon for you. So you go and open your own profile. So there what happens from the database, from the database, there is there are all these details stored that your animated character is right now uh, possess these, these, these weapons. So that data, that data is read and displayed to you. So what happens in the background? Simple read operation simple read operation okay and let's say you know out of all those uh, weapons or something suppose let's say one weapon goes out of power and it is automatically removed from your profile okay let's say you know a weapon you were given to use for uh, say 20 minutes 20 minutes are done you cannot use that weapon or you know in in, in those games you also have like you 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 can purchase something okay and it will give you some extra power for next 15 minutes 
So let's say once those 15 minutes are done, that extra power is removed. That is delete operation that happens in the database. Okay, so there is there is a complete sync between user interface, which is visible to you, the programming code, and the database. And this sync is called create, read, update, delete operations. We, we refer it as CRUD. Any existing application in the world, simple or advanced, works on these CRUD features. Correct? So now to raise to that level, see, I am giving you an example of one, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 online video game. Online video game. Yes, on the top, there will be that Unity software, AR, VR, all lot of things must have been done, right? But as a beginner, as a beginner, yes, you need to have good grip on basic programming. Correct. Have you ever uh, thought like this? That so many advanced techno technologies are there. So many advancements are there. Then, why still Java has lot of uh, market in IT industry? See, when guys, 20 years back, yes, I have uh, <clears throat> uh, total 20 years of experience. So yes, 20 years back, uh, you know, when I graduated, we were also surprised that 70% of the jobs in IT industry are in Java. Now, as of today also, yes, that is true. So you still have 65 to 70% of job market, still it is in Java. Why? See, advanced technology, say, you know, UI technology, yes, somebody would have designed that UI, UI page, but for CRUD, if backend programming is Java, we need people expert in Java. Okay. Backend databases, we need SQL. Someone mentioned no SQL. I'll, I'll come to that. Maybe no SQL little bit we will discuss tomorrow. It is slightly different. I, I would like to cover uh, as a part of uh, you know our digital preparation step. Okay. Now coming to user interface. You can start with simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? Once you have expertise in one programming language, once we have expertise in basic SQL with any of the databases, see all this uh, Oracle, Microsoft, MySQL, they provide express editions, which is free for students, which is free for learning. So yes, you can install and you can practice those. So programming SQL and UI, once you have this expertise, once you have this expertise, correct, Next, you can try and attempt to build a very simple CRUD application. Okay. Don't think from this high perspective. I gave you an example of online gaming because uh, I, I assume that, uh, you know, from all these 350 guys, at least 300 of you, you would, you, you are enjoying online games. Right? That's why I've, I've given that example. Okay. So yes, focus on programming SQL and UI to start with. Once you have reasonable expertise, you can try and attempt simple CRUD application, design a UI page, come up with some, uh, you know, simple student management system or simple, uh, say, say a hospital management system or a banking management system where you can add customers and go with some uh, uh, deposit withdrawal kind of uh, functionalities. Okay. That will really, you know, make you ready for that next step. Okay, now guys, still I have not touched on the interviews, right? I, I never say it, my slide is not referring, it is only referring technology stack. I'm only sharing where you can start if you want to have exceptional career in IT. I did not mention that what I have shared right now is for interview preparations. Okay, so once again, please don't bother like, don't get scared that what if you know my interview might come in next 15 days, how can I learn so many things within 15 days? Yeah, practically with your academics going on right now, all of you are in your uh, which seventh semester. Yeah, practically in 15 days, it is not possible to learn all these things and practice so much, correct? But this has to be your goal. If you want to build a career in IT, this has to be your goal. Yes, your immediate goal is to clear whatever ninja or digital interviews, correct? Right? 
but that is just a beginning it is not end of your career what next why are you appearing for interview you want to work in it industry so when you want to work in it industry how to have exceptional career where exactly it starts and that is the point i have referred here correct fine let's proceed now okay now we come to the main thing second interview expectations so let's assume say 15 days from now let's say you receive a message that you have cleared nqt and you are eligible for ninja interview say which will be scheduled on 30th of september yeah again there is a question for me when the results will be out i have a very simple answer i don't know okay but i also have another very simple answer it's going to happen very soon correct within next few weeks yes results will be out your interview schedule also will be out okay so guys uh, see uh, the message i have received from our tcs management is first they are going to execute digital interviews first will be digital interviews okay so let's assume digital interviews will go for another uh, three weeks time and after that ninja interviews will start okay Right, so you still have two, three weeks time in between if you feel that you know you will be receiving a call for ninja interview. Right. So interview expectations as a ninja candidate will be all around what I have shared so far. What I have shared so far. But it's not like we expect every candidate to have all this expertise during the interview right but we expect that a candidate should know what is ninja role what are the role expectations once they join tcs and they are going to perform a candidate should know where to start with and how the technology stack expertise has to be built where exactly their focus should be Programming SQL UI and CRUD has to be their initial focus. Right. So now see if you guys are from IT background or you are from non-IT background. You are from IT background or you are from non-IT background. Your entry point remains here. See, only difference will be those students who are from IT background, you would have done some projects, right? You would understand slightly better what I was trying to convey, uh, referring programming SQL UI and CRUD, correct? But please refine that first before you start with the next step, okay? Because see, when we say result-oriented, the quality, ask yourself if you have done any CRUD project, is the quality matching best website available? If, the, if you see that no quality is not matching, fine, where is the gap? You attack on that gap. Non-IT students, if you are beginners, guys, please, please learn programming. Okay. SQL is easy. UI is easy. Programming is also easy, but programming is like, uh, you know, see the difference I can say, SQL and UI is like uh, 10 standard mathematics. Easy, you know. Practice little bit and turn. Programming is like 11 science, 12 science mathematics, calculus, right? So calculus means little more effort is required. Little more practice is required. Consistent practice is required for a longer time. Only then you get the confidence. Same applies to programming. Don't be afraid. Programming is also very easy. Good. <clears throat> so interview expectations will be, see if I am the panelist, my expectation from any student appearing for Ninja interview, they should know what TCS expects from you. And that's what I have covered. They should know how a typical IT project works. And that's what I have already covered. 
then next will be your expertise in technology okay so three things what is the role expectation how it project works and what is your technology expertise now for me for me <clears throat> if the student has reasonably good programming expertise i'm only going to check one more point on the top of that rather two points point number one your communication the way you are responding should reflect that you are confident and you believe in teamwork you believe in to be progressive okay that should reflect from the way you are responding to the queries now in this session we are not going to talk lot about communication we have planned another session for tips on communication for interview skills that is upcoming just keep track with the mailers which you receive from our launchpad channel soon that session is also going to happen so okay keeping communication aside <clears throat> next is uh, let's say <clears throat> you know programming to this extent i would like to understand when exactly you started learning any given programming language say you have uh, given responses to java to questions on java in the interview so when did you start learning now based on that i can clearly analyze let's say it is only 6 months so as a student in 5th and 6th semester within 6 months okay this is the level you have reached right i will project in my mind that this student how exactly he or she will learn further when i consider them in my project what will be the tentative learning time for them based on that i'll make a judgment okay so guys your responses your responses should not only reflect what you know but from your responses the panel should feel confidence that you are also willing to learn technologies further okay so now coming to a very important point here expectations in the interview will be you should never ever give any wrong answers please don't try to bluff don't give any wrong answers please ha huh. if you have some doubt that is okay correct but let's say you don't know the answer and you just try to make out something no that's that's not uh, what we expect another expectation from interview it is not your academic viva see there is a difference between academic viva and interview correct so if one answer goes wrong doesn't mean that you have failed in that interview okay but guys please don't look at what happened in that three idiots movie right that that was just a message given in a different way that you should go and appear for interview without fears okay practically that doesn't happen practically things are only going to happen based on your expertise correct ah but yes see the way the way in three idiots it is shown that be assertive don't hide anything be assertive that shows your confidence that is true that is definitely you know a fact okay but appearing for interview without any preparations and just uh, sharing uh, you know everything assertively yeah they will acknowledge but the chances of selection will go down all right so yes now i think you have fair idea on the expectations preparation steps are coming up see i need to set the entire context and that's why you know uh, so far i have not touched on the preparation steps any questions so far let me look at some of your questions and uh, okay mostly which programming language is preferred by tcs uh, 
majority is java java is there python is there c sharp dot net is there okay but guys see the another word another term is flexibility you may expect even this flexibility being tested don't stick to one technology many times you know we ask candidates let's say they have performed reasonably well in java uh, or python questions okay then the question comes from our side let's say you join tcs you have good expertise in python but you are not given a python project instead you are given a project where we expect you to become a database administrator you know what will be your uh, response to that now see 99 percent students will say yes yes i will learn i will take it up as a panelist we sense your inner thoughts also not only what you are speaking correct yes if you want you know you have to show that flexibility in a very positive manner okay and see guys uh one message you know from my personal experience i want to share with you today 20 years of experience and out of 20 this is my 12th year in tcs 12th year in tcs okay now when i joined tcs uh, yeah the, this was my third company third workplace rather started my career as a faculty here i'm based at ahmedabad gujarat so i was working as a faculty in nirma university from 2002 till 2006 2006 till 2010 i was working in one of uh, the it industry again it company again based at ahmedabad okay that was us based company and then since uh, 2011 onwards uh, i am with tcs okay now guys i was interviewed in dotnet technology my tcs interview was on dotnet technology okay I want answer from you that for how long, what was the duration I contributed in .NET for TCS. My prior company, prior company, you know, after a leaving academic job, almost for five years, almost for five years, I was extensively working on .NET. Okay, so I was interviewed in .NET. I joined TCS. Now the question comes to you. Now the question comes to you for how long I would have contributed with .NET in TCS. This is my 12th year. So you can give me some answer. Then you will be surprised. Just think a year, one year. Okay, most of you are going with a standard answer, one year. Any other answers? Till now, five years. Okay, two, three years. Uh, Shantanu is very blunt. None. No, that didn't happen actually. Okay, Rasdeep also says zero. Fine. I'll give you the answer. I'll give you the answer. One month. One month. Yeah, Rahul is correct. One month. Okay. See what happened, I'll tell you. I joined. One month, I contributed in .NET. Uh, maybe you know my supervisors were uh, happy with the way you know my coding skills were i was given option that would you like to upgrade to java without any hesitation i said yes i will yes i will okay and since then now see i had considered that as an opportunity there could have been different thoughts. There could have been different thoughts also that my experience, five years experience is in .NET and now I will start learning Java, okay, which will take another two, three months time. Then I will contribute something which is again going to, to be at beginner's level, correct? So two, three years down the road, it will be like, you know, I will not have mastery in one particular technology. I could have thought that way. But trust me, guys, that was the wisest decision I made. Correct. Why I'm calling it as wisest, not from career opportunities perspective, but the confidence I gained that 
I can jump into any technology and I can learn that technology, I can start delivering in that technology. Okay. So sometime in Java and guys, delivering in Java, but I was still conducting some training sessions on .NET. Okay. And from there, see, because uh, these technologies like big data, microservices, DevOps, yes, that more of a Java inclination background is required. Okay. So yes, that decision actually changed a lot for me. And that is the same advice I'm giving to you guys. The moment you get an opportunity to do something different, see, if your supervisor is coming to you and asking that, would you like to take this up, which is totally different from you, what you have done in past, that is an opportunity. Don't think, don't think in a way that I don't know how can I do it. When your supervisor is asking you, your supervisor is aware that you will need your training time. Show that confidence and that is the trigger which will take you through in your career. Okay, so that is the flexibility related, uh, you know, thought you need to keep in your mind while you respond to the interview questions. Okay, so a lot uh, we have discussed about uh, the uh, <clears throat> uh, interview expectations. Okay, Kalpesh is asking, were you given any training? Yeah, I was given a short training and see another confidence, another confidence I gained was even without faculties, even without trainers, I can adapt to any particular technology. That was another confidence I gained. And see guys, you know, uh, my initial uh, grad, you know, my education background, I was uh, BE, Bachelor of uh, Engineering in Computer Science. Okay. And after joining TCS, after joining TCS, I did my MTech from Bits Pilani. Right. And see, because, because uh, <clears throat> of the way I adapted to Java and I, I learned, guys, the entire MTech, entire MTech, I cleared without any textbooks. Okay. It's a different story. Once sometime, you know, in future, in any of the other session, I'll, I'll talk about that. Okay. Okay. Pranav says, but sir, you are experienced. See, I started Java with zero, zero level, my friend. I was not experienced in Java, correct? Huh. Uh, <clears throat> coming to interview rounds now. See your interview, uh, either we call it rounds or the way you know it will be structured. There will be three panels. Technical panel, management review panel, and HR panel, correct? Uh, generally, if, you, if your interview is going to be online, if you, your interview will be online, then all these panelists will be seated together. Correct. Sometimes what happens that first round, uh, you know, only technical panel is there. Then again, you will be called for next round, which is management panel. And then again, you will be called for next round, which is HR panel. This can also happen or everybody is seated together and one by one, they will conduct your interview. That also can happen. And when I say panel, it's not always that, okay, technical means you have those four or five people in technical, four or five in management round. No, there can be one or two technical panelists, one or two management review panelists, one or two HR panelists. Okay. So technical panel. Now coming to technical panel, they are going to focus on your technical expertise. Now, once you are done with technical round, management review panel is going to focus on your management skills. But see, their, their main focus will be these areas. Okay. Plus your adaptability for anything new. Correct. So, you know, just, I mean, be, be very confident. You can take your time to think a bit, right? And please appear for interview without any fears. Please appear for interview 
without any fear. Okay. See, if you perform without fear of losing, if you perform without fear of losing, you can win the way Sri Lanka won yesterday. Am I making sense now? See, one team was under pressure of performance. Second team was fearless. And the fearless team uh, will, be, you know, has won, uh, 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 you know, in the last over. Correct? They were playing fearless cricket. Right? So, go fearless. What? Maximum what will happen? You won't get the offer. Fine? Is that end of the world? No? So, you can go fearless. Okay. Now, see, many times, see, guys, uh, <clears throat> you know, Facing the panel, you know, we go with Azam and okay, those are some very senior people and how can I respond? Yes, for that you will need practice. So I, I always suggest, uh, you know, this uh, student community, go for mock interviews. Okay. And that will be one of the steps we are going to cover. But yes, uh, technical round, the focus questions will be on technology. Managerial round, you can expect some of the tricky questions. Please be honest, relax, and answer with confidence. If you are confused, if you don't know the answer, you can just say, sorry, sir, sorry, ma'am. Uh, I cannot, I'm not able to answer this question. You can say that, correct? Yeah. Now comes the main thing, right? I took your uh, one hour time and 45 minutes are gone and only in last 15 minutes i am sharing the main agenda right now okay so preparation steps now see these preparation steps i am only going to focus on the technology round tr panel what they can ask you and how to make sure you are prepared very well okay first of all select one or two foundation technologies that is either Java or Python or C Sharp. Okay. I would suggest all of you to select SQL as another. Go for one programming language. Go for SQL also. User interface, if you have some exposure, well and good. But from here on, efforts on learning, please put on uh, programming as well as SQL. Now comes the next question. To what level we should prepare? Because we also don't know when the interview is going to be conducted. Now for that, for that, all of you are part of Launchpad. All of you have seen our Launchpad courses. All of you would have accessed our, uh, that uh, uh, digital test preparation series course. You can directly leverage that once again. See, because in that course, because in that course, you take Java or Python or C++, it starts from very beginning. And your preparation has to be hands-on driven. Okay. See, hands-on means write the code. Write as much code possible. Don't worry if your code doesn't work. Don't worry if your code doesn't work. You can learn from those errors also. Correct? Fine. So go step by step. See earlier, way back when this initiative was started, I had shared a big uh, 40 days planner. Before your NQT, I have shared seven days planner. Okay. You can leverage the same seven days planner. Right? Now Yogesh has a question. How far TCS will expect level of programming? See, it, <clears throat> the level of programming, you should know the basic steps. You should know how to write basic, simple logic. You should know about array and those collections. So all these things are already covered in our uh, courses. Okay. You should know little theory around object-oriented programming. Again, that is also covered in uh, some of those videos. Okay. And see, guys. <clears throat> do as much hands-on what what is the benefit of hands-on when you do something it gets into your visual field also 
it gets into our visual field also and you can respond with confidence okay stop reading around java or python or whichever technology you want get hands on only reading is not going to help you in interviews you it will help you in viva okay suppose your faculty your professor will ask you a question what is table join what is inner join yeah, whatever you have read you can tell and they will be satisfied here the question will be tell me about inner join with example now you will get stuck but but if you have written that kind of query created a student table created a course table join that table and display it which student is enrolled into which course you can give that example again going back to our three idiots definition of machine okay chatur ramalingam's definition is not going to work in interviews all right now how did ranchhod das rat you know <clears throat> had that example based uh, uh, you know definition because he did lot of things and that's what i want you guys to do every day two hours get into this launchpad course just get going don't think too much that to what level i need to prepare keep going keep preparing okay and that's why i mentioned hands on driven preparation hands on for each concept finish one concept only then you start with next okay finish one concept only then you start with next in in the meantime there was a good question uh, what will be the duration of the interview very very good question very good question why yes it is time bound suppose if your entire interview is uh, going to happen for 30 40 minutes so technical round will be hardly 20 minutes okay so how much a panelist can ask you in 20 minutes to what depth within those 20 minutes you know confident if you are confident enough for what you are conveying there are higher chances for selection and your confidence is only going to come with hands on see the moment you get into any topic the moment you get into any topic where you have not done enough uh, hands on you will get stuck in the answers and then you know within if if we start feeling that i did something wrong i may not clear it all other answers will get impacted okay so do enough hands on every day 2 hours please do hands on step by step for all those step by step you have 7 days planner with you you have your programming course with you correct for sql just you know simple sql queries uh creating a table insert select update delete join and group by and order by that much practice if you do that much practice if you do i think it is good enough now along with practicing another preparation step is mock interviews form a pair with your friend please form a pair with your friend okay let your friend be the technical interview person and he or she will interview you and then do the other way around okay and see every interview every interview is going to start with start with tell us about yourself correct please be ready with a short simple and clear answer to this question in which you talk about obviously you will start with your name correct something about your family say my parents my father is so and so mother is so and so i am from this uh, state okay and your hobbies and then and then academics that i am from mechanical engineering background or computer engineering background or mca or msc whatever okay and after that your next question will be 99% of you the second question is going to be what all technologies you are comfortable with okay and guys this answer to this question trust me 
65% chance of your selection lies in answer to this question. English is necessary. Obviously, it is necessary. Your interview will be in English. Okay. So, please prepare well. So, answer to the question that what is, uh, what, you know, yeah. Which is uh, like, what is your technology expertise? The sequence matters. You know, don't simply say that UI, SQL, Java, Unix, operating, be confident and put it in a way that the highest expertise you should tell first. Java programming, SQL, UI, you can mention that yes, these are the areas where I am most comfortable with and this, this, this. Please mention that way. Please mention that way. Don't just give some random list. Else what will happen, you know? Suppose if you talk about somewhere you mention operating system because you studied. If the questions will start coming from operating system on shell scripting and everything, you will get confused. Okay, even today also, if somebody asks me directly on shell scripting, I cannot answer uh, immediately. Then rest of the 15 minutes, you know, things may not work out. Okay, so your mock interview with your friends just on these two questions. Okay, three. Number one, tell us about yourself. Number two, what all technologies you are comfortable with. And then your friend should ask more questions on top two technologies which you mentioned. Mock this three, four times. All right. So if you follow all this advice, guys, your chances of clearing Ninja interviews will be very, very high. Okay. Uh, now, a lot of uh, questions are coming. Are we going to conduct mock simulations? Yes, we are going to conduct. Yes, we are going to conduct. Yeah, Pranav has one good point. I did not mention your resume. Yes, panelists will have access to your resume. So in your, in your resume, do mention about all the academic projects and extra activities you have done. See, your extracurricular will uh, have an impact on MR round. But I did not focus more because our focus was Ninja technology expectations. Okay. We are going to conduct interview simulations. Yes, it is coming up. Uh, so tomorrow's session will focus on digital uh, uh, preparation. And Friday onwards, Friday onwards, we are starting with our simulations. Okay. Friday, we have two sessions on digital interview simulations. Friday, we have two sessions on digital interview simulations. Guys, for Ninja, we will wait. We will wait for one week and we will start. But a lot of uh, past year simulations are already shared with you. You can look at our community. Okay. You can look at our community and uh, you will come to know. Unix, UI, SQL, Java, all those videos are shared. I will not be surprised if some of, some of you would say that, yes, uh, we have seen those things in YouTube as well. Okay, your, your seniors are, have uploaded a lot of things on YouTube, which what we did last year. Correct? Even I myself, I am also visible in those simulations. Okay. But yeah, since it is an open initiative for across India, anybody can leverage, we don't have any issues. Uh, all right, guys, uh, actually it's uh, near to six. Now six o'clock, I have another session scheduled. So I'm not taking more questions right now. I will be sharing recording for this session. Please, please go through this recording once again and uh, go ahead with your interview preparations. All right, and see you once again tomorrow. See you once again tomorrow, same time for uh, digital preparation. So thank you very much and have a great evening. Thank you.